Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for December 4th, 2014. It's going to be a chilly day today with temperatures averaging slightly below normal for this time of year. But at least it will be dry with high pressure and control and clear skies. Temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior and mid to upper 30s in the cities. But outside of the cities, even along the coast, temperatures range from the upper 20s to lower 30s. It is chilly out there with the wind from the west around 5 miles per hour. Temperatures today will only rise into the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior and lower to mid 40s along the coast. We should be around 46, 47 degrees for this time of year. So we are slightly below normal for this time of year, but not too bad. We could definitely be colder, that is for sure. When we take a look at the latest surface map, you can see high pressures in full control. Trouble for this weekend can be found right here. This disturbance right here holds the key for a very nasty couple of days for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, possibly even Wednesday, depending on how the pattern evolves over the next several days. As you can see, we have plenty of disturbances over the western United States rapidly moving east. Now, when we take a look at the radar, we do have dry conditions over the northern Atlantic, but we have a batch of showers here entering the Tennessee and Ohio River Valley. Those showers will reach our location by tomorrow night. There's an isolated chance for some snow, sleet, and freezing rain mixed in here, but given the way the temperatures are going to be setting up for tomorrow evening, I really don't like the threat here for any widespread snow, sleet, rain, or freezing rain. I think the ice threat is minimal, but we'll keep an eye on it for tomorrow evening. Otherwise, dry conditions can be expected all the way through tomorrow afternoon. On the latest water vapor satellite picture, here is our disturbance. This disturbance is key to this whole weather pattern for this upcoming weekend because the intensity and development, the timing of the development of that disturbance over California by the time it reaches our neck of the woods will determine whether we have one very powerful nor'easter or a marginally weak nor'easter that rapidly develops and intensifies over the western Atlantic rather than over the New Jersey coastal waters. Timing is key. In terms of snow, rain, what to expect as far as that aspect, I would hold off on that because we don't even completely have handled the way that this storm will develop, let alone whether or not we're going to get cold air mixed in in time and whether the polar disturbance will interact in time. So my point here is that there's a lot of volatility in this pattern overall. And overall, this pattern is not favorable for an East Coast winter storm because we don't have any blocking here. But if timing is just right, Things could get pretty interesting for this upcoming weekend, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see we do have some cloud cover moving through, but overall dry conditions can be expected over the next 24 to 48 hours. So let's take a look at the latest European model guidance via the Penn State Wall website. Staying away from the GFS, it's just not a trustworthy model right at this time. And uh, Basically, what I would lean on is the European and Canadian and Ensemble model guidance, especially the Ensemble European model guidance. So that's what I base this forecast on. So for today, sky cloud cover, tranquil conditions, temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior, and lower to mid 40s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow, high pressure remaining in control, sliding off towards the Canadian Maritimes, Look for increasing clouds through tomorrow. Low temperatures tomorrow morning will range from the lower to mid 20s over the interior and upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast. High temperatures tomorrow range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior and lower to mid 40s along the coast. Here's where it gets tricky. Here comes our disturbance. We have what's called warm air advection, warm air transport into our region so that's where we start to get our scattered showers not a washout tomorrow evening in any way shape or form but more of a nuisance temperatures tomorrow excuse me range from the mid to upper 30s 
over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. Not exactly favorable for frozen precipitation. Then, well, here comes the storm on Saturday. I'm looking for increasing showers throughout the day on Saturday, becoming heavy at times on Saturday afternoon and evening. Here's our disturbance. The stronger this gets, the more influence it has on this disturbance here and this disturbance here. In the models yesterday, this disturbance was stronger, which led to a deeper trough and a more robust storm. So again, it all comes down to timing. So our storm intensifies, look for periods of rain on Saturday. Temperatures rather warm in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. On Sunday, I'm keeping the threat for showers in the forecast. See how this storm evolves. Looking for temperatures basically in the lower to mid 30s over the interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. High temperatures on Saturday, basically in the lower to mid 40s throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. On Monday, our second storm develops with our polar disturbance getting involved. Keeping showers as a threat along the coast, we'll see as the storm evolves and takes shape. Temperatures again on Monday, basically in the lower to mid 30s throughout the region for lows, lower to mid 40s for highs. We'll get the details on rain, snow, and all that when we actually get a better handle on the development of the storm and how that polar disturbance interacts. On Tuesday, our storm lifts north, look for scattered showers. On Tuesday, with temperatures in the lower to mid 30s for lows, mid to upper 40s for highs. And then on Wednesday, chilly with scattered snow showers. Temperatures in the lower to mid 20s for lows and mid 30s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. I'll keep an eye on this storm and see how it evolves and let you know about the latest information. Also, only 24 hours left for our winter special at NY and JPA Weather Winter Special Membership. Get da -da, four months for the price of three. It's only $30. And that's available all the way until tomorrow night. After tomorrow night, this offer goes goodbye and we go back to our regularly scheduled programming. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.